Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Supreme Ruler Ultimate episode number 9. Uh, let's start off with some research related stuff. We're going to move our forces in this episode, but there's no pressing place that they need to be, so that can wait just a moment. We want to do some technology uh, purchasing, actually. So it turns out you, I scanned around and some of the technologies that we are, that we currently have available, including the MAD, the mat doesn't lead to that much, just a few uh, designs. But the um, Sea King ASW, the Sea Sprite, I think these are reasonable. They're definitely reasonable um, helicopters for us later in the game. So the good news is that West Germany, who I always like to promote, <laughs> I like to give them as much money and as much help as they can get. They're usually in a bad way. They actually need this. And as they are our close ally, we're going to go ahead and ch exchange whatever we, uh, whatever they need in order to get that. And it turns out that even the guided bombs and the anti-tank rifles are enough. Perhaps, I, I think that those are actually useful for them. The naval type stuff, it's not usually West Germany's cup of tea to build naval stuff. So we'll forego that. Anyways, we have an, an exchange here already. I'm not going to ask them for any money. This is like good favor. So the other thing which we didn't get from that deal was electrocardiography. Is that what, wait, which one did we get? No, we got, we didn't get the military one. Okay. So the MAD, exactly the one I was talking about, the French have, and we'd like to give them some technology in exchange Oh, okay, quite a lot of technology apparently they're asking for. <laughs> We're willing to give them pretty much everything. I mean, they're an ally, so again, we are pretty generous about, pretty liberal about giving them... I don't understand what more they want. They want 78 million on top of all that tech. Well, okay, whatever. Just, in fact, we'll throw on... A little bit of extra money just so it doesn't sometimes they come back with a counter offer if you don't give them a little bit more than what they wanted so that's why I said the best offer thing doesn't always work because sometimes they don't accept it but anyways we'll see if that works we gave them a bunch of technology again I I, I don't mind sharing the technology I am assuming <laughs> until I find out this is not true I'm assuming that the AI does not just trade away the technology that you trade to them to the Warsaw Pact or that they don't trade it away to somebody who will trade it away to them, or, you know, what have you. All right, and the other thing is Thailand. I was looking around, and, well, Thai, I, actually, the reason why I went to, to Thailand is because I want to fly my peacemakers, some of them, some of the B-36s. We want to redeploy them to Europe. And I think the fastest way to do that is around India. So I was starting to look for basing rights to see if I could get, like, can I get here, then can I make it over to... I don't know, Israel or something. Um, I'm still not sure if that's possible, but we definitely would prefer to go not... Uh, it would be nice to stop by in Thailand and get some Thai food. Who knows? And these guys are amenable to a big, long... Wait a second. Oh, there it's already there. Okay, so I started... I just checked to see what they would be okay with. And it turns out that they are okay with everything in the list. So we'll just go ahead and approve that offer. And now what is it going to be like for, uh, what is the gameplay going to be like for, I mean, I assume several episodes. What we're going to be looking at mostly is a lot of coups and stuff, and I guess we'll unpause uh, New Lines form. So Thailand accepted that, I guess. And okay, I got the <laughs> labor with uh, Canada. West Germany accepted my technology exchange um, yep Thailand accepted that and France accepted the the tech exchange as well different one let's just go ahead and make sure that there's no other technologies that we're missing uh, the Great Britain had two of those technologies as well I don't think they had all three I think France was the only one who had the other one so those are usually the four powerhouses as far as technology go if I include Italy into that Sometimes Italy has one that the others don't. Uh, not in this case, so I think we're good with that. We can actually start moving forward in time. 
And in the meantime, we can start moving some of our forces to the front. I don't really think we need to move all that far forward. Uh, more agriculture stuff. Oh, so exactly what I <clears throat> exactly what I was talking about. We're gonna get these little elections going. Usually anti-democratic, but sometimes for. So this changed Guatemala to be like somewhat against the democracies. Oh, uh, another thing, I do want to improve relations with Finland because they are on the fence and I, are we already? We are. And I do want to keep good relations with Sweden. We're still in good enough relations right now. The dream is, although I don't think it'll be ever realized, the dream would be to get a an alliance with them. Oh, what? They'll do it? Okay. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I think what the what that was doing was showing... Yeah, okay. So what it was showing is I was offering things that we already had. It had them all on a list still. And that's... It's not going to work for the Swedish. Um, so we don't expect that this will ever bear fruit. Kind of the same as Spain. For some reason, Spain just is very reluctant to ever join an alliance... And I, I say it right there, and I open it up, hopefully hoping that the game will make me eat crow, eat my words, and give me the alliance. All right, technology breakthrough. This is the good stuff. Military production three. Now, this actually is the good stuff. I believe that this is a very important one. Let's look and see what military production three gives us. Okay, so we're going to start researching tank 54 because of that. It gives us, oh, the Schutenpanzer Lang, I don't know. This is actually fairly good infantry. Um, oh, give us the motorized engineers, okay. The LVTP-5, I don't use this, but it's an amphibious crossing vehicle. Uh, the Ferret, nope, that's, oh, the M103 Conqueror. Okay, that is something we may choose to research. And the way I want to talk about all these different projects we have available to us. I always want to talk about them as if they are, we are the Congress. People are coming to us with proposals. Okay, we have this tank, we have this tank. We're going to sit there and weigh the different options and then award funding in the form of a research slot, which does cost quite a lot of money. If you ever like, so I have 11 stuff available to research, but 10 slots that can actually research 10 research facilities. Actually, it's nine research facilities. Everyone gets one for free, um, like one with the capital, you can say. Um, if I just decide to leave some empty, so I had eight researching with a ten total of 10 possible, I would save a lot of money. The research, I mean, okay, it's not a lot of money. It shows right here how much it is. So research for us is 50 billion a year. Um, our total is 720, so... It's not even 10%. It's not too much. Let's uh, probably accept all these. Wait. Yeah, that's not going to be accepted. Ah, man. What's going on here? I think I'm going to throw money at... Alright, I'll accept this deal, and I'm going to throw money at Mexico. Try to get them into some kind of arrangement as well. It would be nice to have... Uh, transit ability, full transit, so that my forces wouldn't get destroyed if they accidentally parked themselves on the east coast of Mexico. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, research. Okay, so that, those, oh, we're going to have to look at those. Let's go ahead and take a look right now. Why not? Yeah, and I, I this is how I plan to do the series. Let's stop and smell the roses. Let's take a look at the different options. So we unlocked, I thought we unlocked the M48 as well. Is it not considered, is it an anti-tank? Um, maybe it's just a, th or maybe, huh, let me see, okay, so Tank Tech 54, we can work backwards from this, M48 Patton, huh, it's a tank, the reaction time being low means this is not a good tank to buy, um, reaction time is how often your unit fires. So if it's low, that means it's going to fire much less than the other team. 
That's not good. So actually, some people would say that this is actually much more important. It will maybe one of the most valuable stats is your reaction time, because it's how many times you're gonna fire. Okay, so if you do 400 damage, you'll probably kill the thing instantly. But if you don't kill them instantly and they are slowly wearing you down faster, well, that's not good. Anyway, I don't know why this is not sh being shown as available to us. Uh, if I go to tanks, am I missing it? I'm probably missing it somewhere. For those of you who are wondering, we can see a lot of different tanks here because I, I have them for the options now to show obsolete and replace units. Uh, I'm just familiar enough with the different tanks and, well, the different technologies, uh, all of them, that usually I can sort out the ones that are good or bad. Now, I usually give the contract to the Conqueror, which is actually just the M103. I think the Conqueror is like the British name for it. Or maybe there's a British Conqueror tank, which is completely unrelated. Maybe it was a joint research project. I don't know. But I think the American version is just known as the M103. I don't know what the uh, full title is. Or I have only heard of the M103. So the good news about this tank, the reason why it's very enticing is it has fantastic close combat. So 22 in the cities and 20 defense, which is as good as its defense everywhere else. And that's normally the place where tanks fail miserably. So having this grade of stats, it's a very com you can make a very compelling argument to use these M103s much later into the game. Uh, the downside, well, it's 70 million. If you remember, the EZ8s were like less than 10, I wanna say six million. Let's take a look. They should be first on our list. Uh, okay, so they weren't eight, but they're, I mean, they weren't six, but they're still under 10. Well, let's just call it 10. So it's six times more expensive. The Pershings, uh, a darn good tank still, the M46 Pershing, not the M26. Uh, this one's 13 million. But you can see the close stats, much worse, 10 and 12. This one is, okay, the EZ-8 is the reason why I like it a lot, is it's actually pretty good as well. It's 18 and 10. But remember, the other one, I think, was 22 and 20. So much, much better. And obviously, these stats, 10 and 20, go way up for the M103 Conqueror. So I think we've found ourselves our next, oh, what we can call, even though this is a heavy tank, I just refer to everything as the medium, or the main battle tank now. So this might become our MBT. Still missing that, so the M48A1 pattern was the slow reaction time or low reaction time. The M47 is medium. Now this is actually a pretty good tank if you just want anti-tank capability. Well, even its soft attack is pretty good, 17 and 20. I, I may have it exactly reversed. <clears throat> okay, I do, I have it exactly reversed. Usually the alternative to the heavy close quarters tank is a more anti-tank version, but not the M47. That must have been the M48. No, 721. I mean, I wonder if you can't build the M48 unless you get the M47. So I, I've never, I don't know if I've seen an example of that, but maybe in my German 1936 game, I was, I'm not sure if I was able to build the BF110C until I was researching the B, uh, the BF110B. But there are definitely cases where you can jump. Um, like I can get, even if I don't research the M103, I think I can get the M103A2. So you never know. Uh, it doesn't list it as a technology. They don't show pre prerequisites beyond what the technology is. So they don't show unit prerequisites. So we'll unpause now. Um, well, actually, what do we want next? Blood transfusions? No, I don't think we want that one next. One of these two would be good. <clears throat> I think we want tank tech first, frankly. So I'm going to pause the other two. <laughs> Why did we pause midair refueling? Wait for a day to tick? Okay, there we go. Let's get midair refueling next. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice. And these uh, trade agreements do last for 30 days. Okay, this is just notification of our... our so oh, God, I just closed all those. So sometimes if I'm really being particular, I'll pause before I clear everything on the list for exactly that reason where something appears right as you're Xing out of everything. Oh well. Yeah, so anyway, smooth sailing for a bit.
I think the next thing which is going to happen, well, I'd, I guess I won't ruin the surprise. We'll just... And I won't try to play to the surprise either. Ooh, wait. Oh! West Germany wants to offer me rubber. Uh-oh. Yep. And that means this is down because not enough rubber. Well, it's a good thing that they offer me that. Gives me a chance to... Go to Great Britain. They usually are amenable to another transfer of rubber. 576,000, my goodness. So let's get a 90 day supply of, let's see, seven, eight, this should be enough because they'll make more rubber. How much do you want? We'll pay whatever. Anything you want, we'll pay that for rubber. It's just the most important thing. Yep, we'll take it. And then on top of that, we'll also ask for a initial burst so that um, our economy can get jump started right away, back to normal. Looks like they accepted, they did. Very good. So rubber is back on the menu, boys. Hmm, timber is actually doing well. Is our unemployment rising yet? 2.5, nope. <laughs> Ah, okay, so this is the Guatemalans are trying to annoy us. They've nationalized the foreign industrial holdings of the United States. Obviously, we're going to condemn this. Really, I probably shouldn't even condemn it. Like, who cares? I don't want to anger too many people. So, they're still not leaning towards the uh, Warsaw Pact, which is good. In fact, we have Honduras leaning towards NATO. Maybe we'll go ahead and try to draw them in. Oh, got some th something else happening. So let's do everything here. Had to try it. I had to try it. Okay. No formal alliance, but everything else. Fair enough. That's going to help relations greatly. So now we don't have to worry about this. Now what? Oh, God. Wow. 12... Peace okay, the peacemakers have rolled off the lines, off the assembly lines. So that that's not good. Um, Haiti broke so the Haiti had a coup d'etat, it looks like. The military has taken control, and because they're military people, somehow, I mean I think it's random, I don't know how, exactly how it's determined. They apparently like us, so this ended up being like a good thing, a very good thing. In fact, we want to support their new government. Even though it's a dictatorship, it's somebody friendly in the Caribbean, which is not exactly the most friendly place with the, the likes of Cuba. Uh, a lot of them are colonies. We don't have to worry about them, but we definitely don't have a friend in Venezuela. Now, Venezuela ends up being sometimes a place we end up targeting, like Monroe Doctrine. I mean, we go full on colony on them. We'll see if that ends up being what we do this time, but um, yeah. Yeah, we'll just wait and see. Looks like Indonesia seems to like us, so let's go ahead and support their government and see if we can get them swinging our way as well. And this is, I think, part of the Cold War dynamics, is a lot of this political behind-the-scenes maneuvering. Um, I mean, if we went to war right now, we're in good shape because uh, we have so many allies. It's the really big benefit. Coal. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. But let's continue to expand that. I mean, look at this number. So those are all the ones already NATO aligned, and two are, whoop, I saw three a moment ago. Now it's down to only two NATO leaning. But on the other hand, it's like six, or I guess it should be seven NATO or Warsaw Pact aligned, and yes, we'll take rubber. Absolutely, we'll take rubber. Are we out of rubber again? Not quite yet. In fact, we're building our stockpile right now. Okay, let's see. Polymerization improvements. This is a very important technology. It unlocks for us three, through through hole printed circuits. Let's make sure that there's nothing else that it unlocks. Nope, there isn't. Well, obviously we need through hole printed circuits to be prioritized. Number one, absolutely. So now that it's green, we'll go back and add mid air mid air refueling back to the list. Let's get rid of these messages. Pretty soon we won't have any more left that we have to worry about. 
Let me also go here and see if there's any we need to delete. Nope, just the one. 35% approval rating is just pretty darn high. And we're continuing to support Pakistan. We're willing to dump money into Pakistan until they decide to become our ally. It may be a long time. I mean, hey, they don't even allow criminal extradition. What the heck's going on here? I guess this the civilian rating is lacking, so maybe we can pay them for like free... Ah, man, it's still 2.5%. Let's see if we can pay them for uh, free labor and stuff like that. I'm just throwing it out like a guess that maybe that helps with civilian rating, but no, they won't. They won't do it. Hmm. All right, well, well, we haven't moved anybody from their original places here. Uh, let's go ahead and at least sort everyone. So we'll go ahead and filter, add type and view. See, these are all my easy eights. We'll get them all right here, let's say. Um, where are my rangers? Let's get all my rangers filtered. Type some view. Let's have the rangers hold the northern line. Get them going up there. And what do we have left? Supply trucks? Well, wow. one in each direction I think makes sense. Because I, I think we have two on the island right now. And again, we wanted to move those peacemakers, at least some of them, over the ocean. Can we make it? Well, let's go ahead and find out. So we can definitely make it down here. This probably won't even require a rebasing. Burma does not like us, unfortunately, so we'd have to go around the tip of Burma no matter what. Are there any air bases? Ah, look at that. And there's nobody there. Perfect, okay. The peacemakers are on their way. They can cut through the French land if they want. We'll see how they do it. Yep, they're cutting through French territory. Very good. Uh, more rubber. Absolutely. Are we, how are we doing? Uh, 275. We're up pretty high on rubber. Okay, now, peacemakers, we just need one of you. Knowing that your range is 6,500 or so, uh, I think we can make it over here. There is a couple fighters there already. Up. Oh. Get this for the moment. Let's look at the research. Nuclear reactor designs. What does that unlock? Apparently, radioisotope thermoelectric generators. Well, man's space flight leads, needs this, and because that's absolutely something we want, um, I guess we'll just prioritize it. We're still waiting on two other research centers to be unlocked. So, okay, eight. I think you guys can make it here, and even though we'll have to share this with two existing squadrons, um, which is one more than the airfield can actually hold. It can only, you remember, all these hexes only hold uh, seven as their maximum size. We'll go with this because um, they'll still get their fuel there. Okay, good. And now. They're obviously just very well positioned to make it. I think we can make it all the way here. Yeah. Let's see if that happens. <laughs> the peacemakers, actually, uh, the one thing I didn't even talk about is, yeah, they're not even, see how it says in the supply 444 out of 444? That means they're not even cashing in their um, supply, their cargo, their weapons for long range like a long range setup. They're not even doing that. I think we're just gonna go ahead and sit, what's the, oh, supply here is not good at all. Not good at all. Oh, okay, never mind. it's not terrible. Got another research, anti-ship missiles, hooray. Oh, nine out of 10, oh, this is perfect time for us to do mid-air refueling, I think we'll go first. That one should have kicked in now. Well, definitely by now. Dude, that's a lot of scrolling. All right, so next we'll want tactical nuclear weapons. And what else do we have going on? Probably this one. I know it only, it only leads to polio, but <laughs> it only leads to polio. Not exactly what I meant. Metal ore, coal, accept, accept. 
particle beam. I think particle beam focusing. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to start knocking these off one at a time, but let's, we have two still in the queue. Oh, let's get rid of this and pay attention to this. Modern pharmacology. Okay, that one is not a big deal. That's just, is there, does that even lead to anything? Medical modern pharmacology. It does. Oh, okay. In that case, yeah, we do want this. And synthetic antibiotics. The healthcare cost, I'm never a fan of those. But since this appears to lead to a deep chain, I guess we'll have to prioritize it. So as soon as this one is accepted as the. Oh! Yeah, our military facility came online. That must be the one in Alaska. Uh huh. So these military, these engineers have done their job. Fantastic. We can probably recall them. I feel like getting another research facility somewhere down here. How many did we get in Seattle? Just one? No, we got two. <laughs> well, you know what? Portland needs one. That's another center of high supply and, you know, it's going to be a special place. It's funny, I, I don't choose the West Coast out of any West Coast bias. It's just because it has high supply. Um, and this one, how's this one doing? 11 days left. So that one's basically done. Fantastic. I guess let's get these units to see transport over, and we'll unpause while they're doing this. Let's get them to Hawaii, based in Honolulu for the moment. Uh, more rubber? Absolutely. Pakistan, we're still trying to make them happy. Not really sure why they won't accept even the most basic agreements. They're not leaning, you know, the wrong way. Maybe I can just start giving them money. Okay, I would like to recommend that we add synthetic antibiotics technology. I'm just going to disagree with this person, even if I agree, so that they don't bother me about this. I just don't want them to, essentially if you agree with anything, they think that they're capable of making these decisions all the time. Oh, we have an extra research slot. I think, I understand, oh, I'm glad that the person mentioned it. So what was the medical one? They want, yeah, actually this is a good one to add, okay. Well, we'll add this one next, or maybe it got added first, let's see. Who won the race? Basically, which one, no, it didn't. Yeah, so that's our research center, great. So we want one more, I think. We must be almost done with these messages. <laughs> Still 2.5%. Wow, we just really can't get it to climb. Um, all right, well, fair enough. Let's get uh, all the Alaskans to see transport back down to Seattle. And from there, We'll let them drive down to Portland and start on the new research facility. Let's take a quick look. So now that <laughs> rubber is not in a bad shape, in a bad way, we do have enough for all our consumer goods. And this is the real money maker of the United States. Ooh, Canada and Japan, I approve. I'm very happy with the alliances which have happened so far. Okay, so let's get this one started. It might, some people might say it's a little overkill to go 13. I just, I just gotta do it. We could put it in Vancouver. Now let's put it directly in Portland. Speaking of research, we have Mazer Systems. We'll just get the next tier of that. I believe that's not the, is that the end all? Huh, maybe it is. So the best thing to do is to just pay attention to what you're finishing and then make sure things are queued. Okay, so we're gonna get the F100, oh, F102 Delta Dagger. Oh, this is good stuff. Although the F108, F106, can't remember the Dagger, no, Delta, Super Delta, I can't remember what it's called, but <laughs> that's the one I usually save up for. Oh, okay, I added that to Portland. I didn't even realize that we already have common engineers here, so we don't even need to add the bring the guys out from Portland. I mean uh, Seattle. So, uh, I mean Alaska. Thirty-two percent. Well, that's down from thirty-four percent. That's definitely true. All 
right, so that Air Force is it's going to mainly add that. Is it going to add the B-52 yet? B-47E. So look at the soft on this is 75, hard is 50. That's definitely much better than the F-80, uh, the F-80 shooting stars, F-80Cs we were using. But compared to the B-36, which has like 230 and 200, something like that, it just does not hold a candle. Philippines and Luxembourg. Bit of a strange one there, but okay. Speaking of Luxembourg, I don't think I gave them all the deals. No, I guess I did. I did not neglect you, Luxembourg. Uh, Sarlin doesn't really like being part of this whole system, but they'll get eaten up by West Germany, so we don't need to worry about them. Hmm. And this is how these episodes are going to go for a little while. Just speeding along at max speed. Waiting for this. And then blood transfusions is 12 days. So coming up pretty quick. And that doesn't lead to anything. So we don't need to worry. Actually, that means that we need another technology in queue. We actually have none in queue. Okay, well. The two Warfare. Maybe we should get the turboprop. Maybe integrated air defense. Let's get integrated air defense next. Should be a short tech. 110 days. Not bad. Cool. Well, how's our rubber doing? So, the other thing. Oh my god, it's not doing well. It's not in a good place. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we can. Oh! Oh! Okay, this is interesting. More technology is available. From Great Britain. Now I know why they didn't have all the three texts to offer at the beginning at the beginning of this episode. They were working on the other stuff. So even if we're very close to finishing these two, which we may be, I think it's worth it to do. Like we're giving this to an ally, right? So uh, 53. I try not to give them stuff ahead of time. That's like the one caveat, the one rule that I try to enforce with myself. It is 51, so I could give him that. Oh, yeah, this. Okay, how much money do you want on top of that? All right, and then I'll give you a little extra just so you don't come back with a counter offer. So don't bother me with that. How much money am I ending up... Am I going to give them in the end? Wow, 530. Not, <laughs> this is not cheap, but that's fine. So blood transfusions and midair refueling. Let's find out how close these are. Midair refueling is like two-thirds done, three-quarters done, only 27 days... And blood transfusions, three days. Literally, I'm going to get this one day earlier. But whatever. <laughs> one day earlier is worth it for $500. I mean, $500 million, Just because we're sending it to our ally. And if we ever have some kind of financial crisis, Great Britain will have our back. They'll send us money so we don't go bankrupt. So let's get... Just, we should get ahead on tech. In fact, it doesn't make any sense for me to buy those technologies and not have something else to queue up for them. All right, Air Force production 53 is now... Oh, good, so that unlocked two, and now we need one more, I think, still. I don't... I guess we can try to focus on healthcare stuff. Oh, okay, good, it's the last one. That's what I wanted to see. New alliance formed, Greece and Netherlands, good. And, wow, we're just plummeting. Uh, advanced sub hull designs. I think we already checked out that this one doesn't lead to something immediately. Uh, it's not even an option for it to lead to something. Probably need military vessels. Yeah, there it is. So, yeah, it only led to Zulu. We just finished this. Good. Everything working. Oh, 12 out of 12, 12 out of 12. Okay, so we'll start adding some other stuff. Let's get the turbo prop is going to lead to the uh, C-130 stuff. So that's useful. Let's do that. Just have something in the queue. And looking through all these technologies, I really love this. Maybe it's my favorite part about this game. Yes, we need rubber. Did I solve our rubber problems? Or did I just... 
Yeah, as I usually did. As I usually do, I should say. I got distracted by the fact that they had technology that we didn't have. <laughs> Which, yeah, okay, that's very easy. You got me, game. You, all, you always get me. Distracting me with technology. Just because it's my favorite thing. Alright, so let's just straight up ask for like a big... And I do not want to like readjust this. So just take a little bit extra. Give me that immediately if you can. 2.5. Wow, this labor shortage is not going away. Okay, good. That is done. And the next thing we want to do is give ask them for like a very a much more long term th agreement for eight thousand. Seems like it's okay. And we will pay whatever you want for that, and it's okay if you give me a counter offer, but you didn't. That's also fine. The reason why the UK has so much rubber, I mean, they have rubber production from other colonies, but the British Malaya is like where so much of the world's uh, rubber is. You can play as Malaya and just build up your rubber, and it's like a beautiful economy. It's not a self, I mean, you're not self sufficient. You got, you need to import pretty much everything else, but, <laughs> but at least you're good on the rubber front. And speaking of rubber, we will eventually tap the Hawaiian Islands for all that rubber, natural rubber. And then we'll make synthetic rubber after that. But for now, we're waiting for that unemployment crisis to stop. Thirty-six minutes into the video, uh, and I, I've been a little sick. I, I hope the videos are not. Uh, I, I get a little bit worried about if my voice is getting nasally, which certainly happens when you get sick. I don't think it's been too bad, or much worse than usual. But oh, we do have one, so yeah, let's send the seven, task force seven across, or squadron seven, or whatever these people are. Where is it? Ah, here. Just use the same route. Or we could try to avoid using a Dawn. Maybe there's another one around here. Yeah, there's one right here. And this is British Somaliland. So it's perfectly available. Support activities are continuing. Maybe that'll pay off. I hope so. Alright, seven... Get you. I can just select one and see. This is five thousand. So yeah, that's funny. It's not even the. It's not even their max range. Oh. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Taiwan suddenly wants a formal alliance. Well, we we definitely want. We definitely want that. <laughs> I wonder if they're. Are we supporting them now? They just came to that idea all on their own. Hmm. Okay, that's our alliance. And, yep. And what happened here? Labor shortage, 2.5. Must be starting to climb. I mean, it's at least not falling any lower. Nothing you can do about it. I mean, I haven't built anything but a couple research facilities. No way to avoid it. I even scrapped like 62, what was it? Um, small consumer production centers just didn't help alright let's get you guys to land is there any landing space oh, I can get you guys to land here and I'll move 8 somewhere else we have time we have time, we have time, we have time here we go did we make it there? yep, just in time, that one gets there fantastic so we're well positioned to stop any kind of nonsense which happens in Europe. We have somebody in Greece, somebody on the Cyprus Islands. I'm anticipating stuff erupting in the Middle East. That's why I have forces there. Um, if something erupts... Oh, Switzerland is leaning... That's strange. Why is Switzerland leaning... Can we bring them back? Huh. Really caught me off guard there. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why they're leaning... 
towards Warsaw Pact. It doesn't make sense, first of all, because they're surrounded by NATO. <laughs> you use that as the first reason why you wouldn't want to necessarily be opposed to everyone around you. Are we... Let's try to be friends with Austria. Nobody really... I, I think it's... I don't know. What, I really don't know what it is. All right, radioisotope stuff is finished. Well, I think we're quickly going to get to the point where we don't have anything more to research. Oh, gosh. Just tactical nuclear weapons. Now, that leads to some stuff. So maybe I didn't... There it is. I didn't queue this up, but let's go ahead and queue it up now. 1958 nuclear missile warheads. And you know what? <laughs> Even though... The world is not going to be very happy. We're going to go ahead and continue to conduct the high yield nuclear weapons tests. And after that, we're going to develop the nuclear warheads. So it says pollution. Pollution is currently, as far as I know, not modeled in the game. Yeah, so this is the Egypt. This is historical stuff happening now. Uh, June 26, 1951, the government in Egypt is facing growing opposition from their military. At the very least, this will impact their effectiveness in battle, and it could lead to mass desertions or coup. Let's keep checking on our rubber situation. It seems okay, but we'd always be happy to get more. Got another technology. Tank 54, wow, fantastic. Can we even get the next tank? <laughs> no, I guess not. Let's see what that one unlocked for us. Because we haven't yet researched the M103. So this <laughs> doesn't lead to anything. Okay. So the next thing we need is spaced armor. Which also doesn't lead to anything. But reactive armor surely does. Cue this as well. Yeah, this is going to lead to... Did I see a Bradley? I did see a Bradley in there. Well, it needs military production 7, which we are nowhere near. So apparently there's it unlocks a lot of things which also need much higher um, much higher like complementary technologies. Well, zipping along here, uh, looks like we're going to break out 1951, probably at the end of the next episode, because I mean, these days are just rolling around. It's about a day every five seconds, day every four seconds. Well, we're, we're pausing when we get the research, though. So I probably just ought to just queue up a lot of this stuff so that we don't have to worry about what we're throwing in the queue now. At this point, I think it's fine. Just throw everything in there. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take everything down the line. And now we want to go up here and okay, so military vessel is about to unlock and looks like we have we're trying to research everything after it. The super carriers and all that is not very interesting. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cancel research of that cuz when the other ones get unlocked, we want those to be prioritized. Super carriers and all that. Well, they're it's none of them are as good as the midway. Not for a while. So until that happens, we don't really need the technology for carriers. We have really good carriers. We have way too many carriers. So lots of things are working against that. This technology is better bought than anything because <laughs> it just doesn't lead to anything for the U.S. It only leads to stuff for I think Germany. Russia, China maybe? No, only Germany and Russia. So we'll just wait for West Germany to get it. <laughs> maybe they will, maybe they won't, I don't know. But they do benefit from it, so. Another technology, ah, that's the 51. So let's look at the, how many things that, yeah, that unlocked a lot of stuff. Oh, actually, understanding DNA is a different one. Let's pause that. Naval nuclear reactors. 
modern sub prototype I believe we want. Let's get that one next. Okay. And then these guys can fight over what goes after that. And South Korea. Oh no, it's now just Korea and Norway. I do like that game touch. I think we're going to call this episode to a close here. It's been a lot of research. It's been an episode full of research. And that, that makes me really happy. <laughs> Maybe not everyone else, though. We have our bombers in position for anything which starts to happen. Maybe I should just... I, I mean, I'm a little nervous about keeping them in... In Greece. If I can find... Yeah, like something like this. They'd rather vacation in Italy anyway. I mean, okay, actually, this whole area, the Mediterranean's <laughs> got a lot of tourist appeal, so I'm sure they'll be happy wherever we put them. Just why not take one last look at Pakistan? Maybe they've decided to have a change of heart. No. I wonder if I can get anything from them, like line of sight? Usually criminal extradition is the first thing you can get, but I, I can't prove that that's always the case, so maybe it's not. Metal ore, rubber, actually we should be paying attention to rubber, 725, so it's actually going up and up. Military goods are going to be fine, uranium, I just don't want it to be sold, so having a stockpile of 906 is not even that much, but we can't improve that. Well, actually we can. Let me purchase, I mean, it's $3. I, I will take as much of this as you'll give me at these at these prices. And I think most of it we're going to be buying from India, but like it costs $2 million to buy this much. Are you kidding me? Just, we'll take as much of it as you'll give me. All right, what do we have unlocked here? I should be paying more attention. Integrated air defenses. There is a step up from that. Oh, which we can actually get. That is worth it. Absolutely. We don't need it urgently. I don't need to put it into the queue first. It actually did make it into the queue first. Probably shouldn't have. <laughs> All right, what next? Improved aircraft performance. That sounds useful. Didn't lead to anything directly. Huh. Improved aircraft performance. I guess we'll look it up. Would it be in transportation or military? Ah, military. Okay, so it we don't have the ability to get the advanced aircraft engines, but improved... What did it give us? Ah, the F-106 Delta Dart. That's the one I was trying to think of. So the Delta Dart, that's going to be a tech... That, I mean, that's going to be a interceptor we want. They, you do have the F4 Phantoms coming up after that, so it's not like it's not a terrible idea to wait for the F4s, but it's kind of nice to have the F106s. They are super fast, much faster than the F1 the F4 Phantoms. But yeah, okay. Pause on the research. Look, at, we almost made it to the end of 51. Just doing all this, moving forward as we have been. But I really do need to call it to a close here, so we'll put a cut in. We'll figure out what we're doing next time. We'll get these tilt rotor. Yes, we'll get you. We'll get you, and we'll get the next one after that. Why not? Get it all. So until the next episode, thanks for watching the Research Simulator. <laughs> and until then, take care.